at the term peace. Everyone's always saying how they want peace. You know what? I want peace too, but you know what else I want? Prosperity. Because imagine peace without prosperity. Imagine a world completely at peace without prosperity. No new ideas, no new thoughts, no new concepts, no new dreams, no new choices, no new thoughts, no new inventions, no new creations, no new direction, nothing. <laughs> the world would just be kind of at a standstill. The whole place would just be completely still. I believe in peace for the law. <laughs> Defense from the law. Defense from that which takes from the prosperity. Abundance of prosperity. Abundance of prosperity. An abundance of prosperity being... What, what would that mean, huh? An abundance of prosperity. So peace and prosperity is a good one. You know, because that's peace and prosperity. But if we don't have the prosperity, then we're going a world that's just at peace. And a world just at peace means it's not doing anything. It's not moving forward. It's not moving backwards. It's just stuck. Now think, think of a world of prosperity. Oh, all these things are going on, you know. You got all these new products, you got all these new things, you got all these new wonders. All these people rising, the economy bursting, the world going faster and faster, everything accelerating, everyone having fun at good times, all the money being invested, all the economy exploding. Life exploding with all kinds of possibilities and, and promise and new ideas and new possibilities and new futures and new children and new life. But we bring peace to all that and what happens? We don't got anything new. We ain't got no prosperity. We don't have any abundance. We don't have anything extra, you know. Prosperity is that extra that, that keeps us going, that growth, that continuance, that creation. Peace by itself. We don't want peace to prosperity, do we? We want prosperity and peace. Peace and prosperity, right? Peace and prosperity. We don't want the peace by itself because that'd be too low. We don't want prosperity to things of loss. We want peace to loss, peace to war, prosperity to the people. <laughs> prosperity to the ideas, to the inventions, to the monies, to the to the wealth, to the growth, to the creation, to the continuance, to the to the light, to the hope, to the future. Prosperity to the future and all those wonders and amazements and fulfillments and endless quantities that prosperity is. Except for the things of law. We want peace to the things of law. The things it takes from the growth, from the creation, to the, from the new ideas, from the new possibilities, from the new thoughts. Because we don't want, we don't want to, we don't want to lose the prosperity. We want to keep that prosperity, but we want peace to all the things that stand in the way of that prosperity. So say you strike out at, in prosperity. You strike out to make the world more prosperous. You strike out with new ideas, with new concepts, by protecting from the losses, protecting from the wars of life-taking, of loss, of taking and looting and <laughs> ravaging. And they think that we can strike forward in the prosperity of life and love and happiness and joy and the new ideas and new concepts. Striking forward in prosperity. Striking forward in prosperity as individuals. What can you do? What strikes can you do to make the world more prosperous for everyone? What can you do to make the world more prosperous for yourself? By changing the environment, by working together, by cooperation. But what happens if we just bring peace to all that? The world is stalled. So let's have peace and prosperity. Peace to the lost, prosperity to all the gain, prosperity to all the things that bring new life, and bring new ideas, bring new possibilities, bring new creations, new, new developments, new, new, new fundamentals, new growth. That's prosperity, that's the growth and the creation and the continued existence. So strike out in prosperity. Strike out and help it out. Strike out as you can to... Make the world a more prosperous and more beneficial place. And strike against that which would take from it. That would create great loss. Defend against it. Defend against it. And what will we have in the world? What world will we have? But a prospering one. A prospering world. A world where, where anything is possible. Where there's 
bounty and wonders and joys all around. Where the people are prospering, where the ideas are prospering, where society is prospering. And all it takes is to think, how can you help this world grow? How can you help creation continue? How can you help aid the world in some fashion? What ideas of heart do you have to share with the world? What strikes of heart can you give to the world to make it more prosperous in heart and more prosperous in the things you desire and the things that you seek? And others do the same. And all of a sudden the world starts to prosper. But we also have to protect from all that which we create of loss. All that which is not of heart, which we would not want for ourselves. So what will you choose? A world just of peace or a world of peace and prosperity? Thank you for your time, Christian David Clay, of the United Unified Beliefs.